This is the Bekaa Valley in Lebanon, a place where over a million Syrian refugees have fled across the border to escape the violence in their homeland. What's life like here? The world does not care about you. You live on the ragged edge of a fraying society. It's a place no one wants to go, and even fewer are able. But it's here where you can encounter Jesus at work, among those with the greatest needs. Like Ali's family. Ali, 13, barely survived Syria. Before he arrived at this refugee tent camp, he saw things that no child should ever see. It began in 2011. Violence grew into a bloody conflict. Families were forced to flee or risk being caught in the crossfire. Families like Ali's. They were slaughtering people with knives. One had a gunshot in the back of his head. Another one had a throat slit. There were five or ten dead in ways like being shot in the head. This is where Ali lives now haunted by images he can't get out of his head. It's hard. I can't forget because I saw it with my own eyes. I was scared and that's what was going on. My mother took us and we fled. Now this valley has become home to thousands of refugee families. They yearn for an end to the war so they can rebuild their lives in Syria. Ali's family survived when so many others died. But now they face new challenges. Instead of going to school every day, Ali is forced to work. It's very hard on his mom. Every morning, Ali goes to work. I'm choking and my heart breaks. I used to play and go to school in Syria. Anywhere, it would be better than this. My father is sick, and he can't work. My brother and I go to work. I sell every day. Tissues, biscuits, things like that. Ali is out here, unsupervised, vulnerable, making just four dollars on a good day. They ask me how we're doing, and they say we are doing badly. So they buy a tissue from me and tell me to go. It's difficult to see Ali like this. But I wonder, how is Jesus calling us to respond? Not just to Ali, but to all refugee children. This is a World Vision child-friendly space. Some children arrive so distraught that they can't even speak. But here they can play, learn, and begin healing after years of witnessing violence and death. This is a place where kids can just be kids. In this place, children can be happy and safe. They sing songs about health, friendship and hope. It has a huge impact on their lives. Meanwhile, families like Ali's still struggle. They need your help. This is our home. This is what it's like for my family, for Ali, and for so many others. Please help. God's love runs deep for each child affected by this violence. They are his children. In Matthew 25, 40, Jesus says, Truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. God desires for us to love refugees as He loves them. And one powerful way to do this is to become a World Vision refugee responder. You'll help with things like food, clean water, shelter, emergency supplies, safe places for children, and much more. You can do this today when you join the movement of people becoming World Vision refugee responders helping change the future for children like Ali, who have been affected by violence and destruction. But first, take a moment to reflect and pray for Syria, for Ali, 
for refugee children everywhere. How will you help change their future? <laughs> <laughs>